Live, local, late breaking. This is Heartland News at 9 on Fox 23. Well, I am hopeful that I'm going to get there before the snow really comes in and I'll be all set. Wintry weather is causing headaches for a lot of travelers on this holiday weekend. We'll show you what things look like right now in the Heartland. Whether he's guilty, whether he's innocent, there's a right way to handle it. After two nights of violent protests, a local pastor speaks out about what he's witnessed in Ferguson. That story coming up. Well, it's almost the biggest shopping day of the year. I'll tell you how police and businesses are taking precautions to make sure it's a safe shopping spree. And good evening, everyone. We begin tonight, though, in Mounds, where police are investigating after two people were shot earlier this afternoon. Giacomo Luca has been covering this story all evening for us. He's live again from the scene tonight. And Giacomo, what's the latest? All right, Jeff, again, we have been on scene for a couple of hours now, and since then I've been working to piece together as much information as I possibly can about what happened here. Here is uh, a look at what we know right now. Two people were shot in downtown Mounds in the area of Blanche and 2nd Street late this afternoon. Police say both victims were taken to a Cape Girardeau hospital. Investigators have not yet released information about their injuries. The events today have people in this community on edge. So now I have to sleep with all my doors locked because I don't know what it is. But then bullets come through walls and bullets come through glass. They straight ain't got a vice name on them. That is very, very, very scary. Cape County Coroner John Clifton tells us that a patient who was brought by ambulance from Pulaski County has died in a Cape Girardeau emergency room, but we cannot confirm right now whether or not that person was involved in the incident tonight in Mounds. And right now we are still uh, waiting, as you can kind of see behind me again, there are still lots of police on the scene. They are currently, uh, they do have crime scene investigators uh, in mounds right now. We're working to bring you further information and make sure to stay tuned to Heartland News at uh, 9 and 10 later in the show. So we'll make sure to update you on that tonight. Live local late breaking, Giacomo Luca, Heartland News. Heartland teenagers in trouble.